I'm very happy to be on the program with Sibel Edmonds. She's certainly one of my heroes. I admire what she's doing very much, and I think she's serving the country very well. Absolutely, she's credible. And the reason I feel she's very credible is because people within the FBI have corroborated a lot of her story. I was talking to uh, FBI uh, colleagues who had read her file, who had read the report, the investigative report. They were telling me that Sybil Edmonds was 100% accurate, that uh, management knew that she was correct. Around about a year ago, I realized that I understood what the full story was and what she was trying to say, uh, although she couldn't do it publicly because of the gag order. For me, the full story was uh, to follow the money on this. So Turkey benefits, Israel benefits, the neoconservatives, who are kind of in the middle of this relationship, they benefit, well, they make money, uh, they, they dole out influence. So they, they gain through this, this relationship uh, as much as anyone. I'm Paul Newman. For the past 14 years, we have been honoring courageous Americans who have defended their First Amendment rights against overwhelming odds. Sibel Edmonds adds luster to this distinguished group of honorees. Sibel Edmonds would not let an intimidating FBI shut her mouth and as a result suffered grievous consequences. But she has persevered and we are better off for her sacrifices. Well, I just want to, uh, you know, supply my support to Sibel's effort here. Um, I think she's been doing a fantastic job of trying to get this, this out there. She is a modern day Paul Revere. She stood up and said, this is wrong. She's a First Amendment uh, cannonball. And we are very grateful to her. Sibel Edmonds was a heroine. Sibel Edmonds is an American patriot. She has a classic story to tell um, and was unfortunately kind of shut down. I fear for, for her in a way because if somebody in the government thinks that she's uh, getting too noisy, uh, bringing out too much stuff, you don't know how far they would go, especially as high up in the government as this could be.